Jesus, please take us from this grandstand world. It's time we got into the game. I could be a river. I could be a river flowing you through me. I could be your whisper like the wind blows through the trees. I could be the breath of life all of us could know that through us you are breathing in and out us you do flow. I am like a music box. God can turn the key, tight with thoughts that take me to my Lord who dwells in me. I am grateful to Kevin McLeod for his instrumental entitled Music Box Theme, found at Incompetech.com. My faith is in you, Lord. My faith is in you, Lord. My faith is in you, Lord. My faith is in you. My faith is in you, Lord. My faith is in you, Lord. My faith is in you, Lord. And you'll see me through. My hope is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord. My hope is in you, Lord. My hope is in you. chapter from my book, The Traveler, about a man who encounters a supernatural Christian mentor whom he communicates with through his computer. This is chapter 29, The Wishing Well. Suddenly, there was a wishing well on the computer screen. Two gigantic coins appeared out of nowhere. As the first coin began to move across the screen, the traveler said, This coin is our minds, given to us by God, which, when used for God's purposes, is divine, but when used toward carnality, perpetuates Satan's world. As the second coin began moving across the screen, the traveler said, And this one is our faith. Faith applied toward carnality will manifest in more things of the world, including pleasures that lead to terror. But faith in God alone will lead to an abundance of fruit of the Spirit, which causes the lost to hunger for God and fills our hearts with a true sense of purpose. The two coins flew into the wishing well. 
There was silence until the coins fell into the water many yards down. Almost imperceptibly, Rich could hear a rumble, and suddenly one huge coin flew out of the well. The huge coin balanced on its edge and began to spin, and from it spewed 3D symbols of wealth everywhere. Cars, money, clothes, mansions, drugs, every kind of material comfort in the world came from that spinning coin and faded into the air a few feet away. Rich knew in his heart this was our mind being used toward carnality of the world, toward the acquisition of things that, in the eternal sense, meant nothing. The traveler said, When we give our minds and resources to the Lord, however, he will use it to draw more of his flock into his kingdom, which is not of this world. The rich man in the Bible could not follow Jesus because, as our Lord pointed out, the rich are often too enmeshed in the material things and pleasures, which are so fleeting compared to eternity. They are almost as nothing. Those rich in material possessions never seem to get enough, do they? Happiness is constantly elusive. What if we wanted to be truly happy beyond what any physical possessions could bring us? What if we wanted to find God's perfect peace and tranquility even in this world? Is it possible? Rich sat in awe as the traveler's graphics and words became infused into his mind. The huge coin started to slow down. Then, eclipsing the spinning coin, was Jesus, standing with arms outstretched once again, inviting Rich to come unto him. The coin's spinning accelerated again, only this time under the influence and power of the mind of Christ, as it spun, it was issuing out hearts and doves and many symbols of love, joy, peace, and tranquility, and, of course, the foundation for it all, the cross. The wishing well and Jesus disappeared from the screen. It was blank for a few seconds. Rich suddenly felt as if he were awakening from a dream, he hit some keys, but the keyboard was unresponsive, and the screen was still blank. Sometimes, thought Rich, the traveler is very dramatic with his exits. Rich hit the control, alt, and delete keys simultaneously, which broke him out of that screen. Rich went to his bedroom and prayed in his heart. O oh Lord, I want you to be the key figure in my mind, my heart, and my life. Once again the tears welled up as Rich gave his life afresh to Jesus. Rich noted that it seems he needs to give his life to him again and again, but however many times he has to give his life to him, it doesn't come close to the time Jesus gave his life for Rich. After the prayer, Rich headed downstairs to tell Sherry about the latest things the traveler had said. Outside, the wind was howling and the windows were rattling a little. Another December storm was rolling in and it was quite refreshing. Durango Hills was decorated for Christmas and the joy in the air was almost palpable. Jesus, please take us from this grandstand world It's time we got into the game We're so tired of this grandstand world Where feelings never seem to change Sometimes this world seems so unjust I think we'll find, I hope we'll find That through your mind the sidelines aren't for us.